So, on the go with a modded 3DS. How to install 3DS games onto a modded 3DS. How to use the uh, emulators to emulate different retro games. That's what this video is gonna cover. It's gonna be very, very quick. So, this icon here, FBI, this is how you're going to install all programs such as um, video games that you install, 3DS games, and new software such as emulators, things like that will be installed through here. Basically what you do is when you open it, it comes to this menu, you have SD, you're usually just going to go to SD by hitting the A button, and then you can scroll down to CIAs, which is where I recommend installing all of your, your games or uh, putting all your .cia games that you download. And then um, when you wanna install one of these games, none of these games are installed. They're all on the card right now. But to install it, you have to select it with the A button. And then it says install and delete CIA. That's what I would recommend. And then you just hit yes. And it starts to basically install the game onto the 3DS itself. Um, now, of course, it's doing it on the on the SD card, but it's basically converting it into a way that the console can understand how this game works. So once this is finished, you basically get an icon on your home screen. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. It'll say new software unlocked, and then you'll get new icons right here. They just show up for whatever games you install. So like there's Harvest Moon, for example. Uh, here's Picross for example, those are both installed using this FBI button here. Uh, to emulate uh, Game Boy Advance, you're going to be using, well, to emulate Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo, all that, you're gonna use these various emulators. So we've got PlayStation, Super Nintendo, we've got the um, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, NES and etc. Now you can do that or you can just hit this button which is RetroArch. RetroArch, it, no matter which of these you click really, it's pretty much just going to be opening RetroArch. And RetroArch is what you're going to be using to emulate the older games. To emulate the older games, it's going to look for them on the hard drive, I'm sorry, the uh, SD card. And what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you put the game files, the ROMs that you download. Um, most of them have to be unzipped, not all of them. That's kind of finicky. You can see the, the links that I'll give you to give you more details on that. But basically all you're doing is you, you want to play a game, so you go down to load content and you press the A button. It's going to ask you where do you want to start. You can really start anywhere you want. Any of these really, except for settings, basically take you to the same place. But I would just hit start directory. And it's going to say SDMC. And then you just scroll down here and you'll find your ROMs folder. That's where I suggest putting all your ROMs. And then you have them sorted nice and neat like Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Nintendo DS. Now keep in mind Nintendo DS may be in this ROM folder but DS games are not playable through RetroArch. I'll show you how you play the the normal DS games in just a second. Uh, but you, you got your NES, PlayStation, all of that. Uh, once you find the system you want to play just go ahead and select the folder and then it's gonna show you all the games you have installed. For example, Game Boy, you can use zip files. Choose a game that you wanna play, hit A, and hit Load Archive if it's, if it's a zip file. Then you have to choose the emulator you wanna use for it. And so since this is just a Game Boy game that I'm trying to do, I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom where it says Nintendo Game Boy, uh, slash Game Boy Color. And then I press A, and that means I'm gonna use the Game Boy emulator Gambet to play this game now. So it's loading, and in a couple seconds, it'll go ahead and pop up on the, the top screen. Now you're gonna wanna configure your controls, and everyone configures their controls a little bit differently. Um, RetroArch is a very advanced topic. 
Um, it can do a million different things. This video would be like two hours long if I explained every single setting on the menu. Um, but uh, for all intents and purposes, that's how you do it. And then when you want to exit a game, you just hit the home button. And yeah, it'll probably make some annoying noises like it is right now. <clears throat> and uh, you can close out the software and then you can go do a different thing. And uh, when you want to play uh, 2DS games, you're going to use this thing called the Twilight Menu. It's this icon. I'm sorry, not 2DS games, the old NDS games. And um, go ahead and run Twilight Menu. Whenever you want to play standard DS games, and it'll open up this menu here, and it'll say Start Twilight Menu Plus Plus. That's what you're going to hit. So you can tap that. And then it basically runs it like a normal DS at this point. And so any any games that you put on to your SD card, again, I would recommend putting them in the ROMs folder so you don't lose track of them. I put them in the ROMs slash NDS folder. And um, any, any ROMs you download and put in this folder, you're going to see in just a moment, folders will pop up on uh, the bottom screen. And you'll be able to navigate to the NDS ROMs, choose one, play it. And it saves the files right there, loads the games right there. And um, just like retro game emulation, you can hit the home button whenever you want to leave. So it does take a second for it to load up, but that's the only downside there. And so it went straight there since I was already in this folder last time. But normally you have to go through a couple folders see these folders here and so that's Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, NDS and I've put all my NDS ROMs in here and to show you a little demo here's Pokemon Heart Gold you just choose it <clears throat> and give it a minute to load let me turn the sound on again bing so there you go very simple. Um, and let me show you some other stuff real quick. Just doing a very quick core feature overhaul. I know this isn't the most professional video. Sorry, it's recorded on a cell phone, but you do what you got to do with a low budget and not much time. <laughs> so, you install games with the FBI menu. Okay, let me show you one other thing. Um, so, well, there's a couple of things, actually. Anemone here, this A, that's how you want um, install themes. You can download them on the internet, drag and drop them onto your SD card, and you can install them with the Anemone theme launcher. Now, let's go ahead and turn the console off and hold the start button while you're powering the console on. And what this does is it opens up what's called the God Mode menu. Looks a little bit like this. And it lets you see the internals of your your micro SD card. But basically what the purpose of this is, is so that if you find games on the internet that aren't already in .ca, .cia format, which they probably won't be, you can put them on your SD card anyway. Let's say they're in .3DS format. And basically what you can do is you put them in your dot, your CIA's folder, I would recommend, and you'll see your list of games. And most of these are CIA's, of course, because that's the easiest to, to install. But if you were to put a file in here that you download that isn't a .CIA already, and you're wondering how do I convert it to a CIA, well, it's very simple. You just select it, and you press the A button, and it's going to say... Well, since this is a CIA file, it's going to say CIA image options. But if it was a 3DS file, it would say 3DS image options. And when you hit it, you can basically convert it to CIA in this, in this little menu here. And um, once it converts, you can go back to the main menu here. And you can hit start to reboot the system. And then your file will have been converted to .cia which means you can then install it with the FBI app. 
and that pretty much covers it so thanks so much for your interest in modded consoles from retro game club if you already purchased one from us this is a customer's one right before i ship it that's why i'm doing this video here uh, but if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and um thanks again guys talk to you later